So we've been talking about ideal introductions and the five steps. Step one, get attention. Step two, introduce your thesis. And the topic for today's video tutorial, how to relate to your audience. Now, most audiences and most people are like you and me. They have a lot of things on their mind, such as time is lunch. What am I gonna do after this? How many more of these will I have to do until I get it perfect? What else are they gonna say? I wonder if I could just skip to the end. If you really wanna engage and connect with your audience, you've gotta be aware of a couple of psychological principles. First is, your audience is egocentric. And I bet you can guess what that means. It means they have an ego and inside their head, they're thinking about them. And so if you really want to engage them in your speech and communicate your message, you're going to have to relate to them in a way that moves them. Find a way to make your topic connect. Connect with their values, connect with their interests. Give them a reason to listen. Or as I like to say and have said for years, answer the question, why should I care? The I and that would be your audience. Why should your audience care about this topic? Why is it important to them? Why is it meaningful for them? Why does it make a difference in their life? If you can do that in your introduction, the likelihood of your audience sticking with you for the whole speech goes way up. What's the next thing you need to do in the introduction? Well, it has less to do with the audience and more to do with you. I'll tell you that in my next tip on creating your ideal introduction.